Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Dr. D Dozen and tonight we are making Meat Lovers Pizza Tacos for my family of 14. We have, I don't know, a zillion of these little pizzas. I don't really know how many I'm going to make yet. I've just bought a bunch. We've got ground beef. I'm going to cook up half of this. So I'm going to cook up about three pounds of ground beef. And then we're going to grab the shredded mozz and pepperoni and top it with that. This is a random recipe that Josh saw online. I don't know where it came from, uh, but this could be a total fail. I'm just warning you, this this could be a fail. So like, why not vlog it for the world to see? All right, the oven is already going. We're gonna cook these 14 minutes each, but they're little, so I feel like they can probably fit a lot. I've got a double oven, so I actually have three racks that we can fit these in. Alright, so like this is your taco shell. I don't know. Hopefully it's good. I got no idea. It is 5.45. I was out running errands. I just got home from starting dinner a little later than usual. So the kids are doing their electronics time now, which we don't normally do. All right, what do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, let's see if we can fit all of these in. all the time when I was a kid. I would like get home from school and throw one in the microwave. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Having that nostalgia. I'm drinking ginger water. I've had a lot of questions if this is good and it is so good. It's my new favorite flavor of sparkling water. I'm just putting them on here to bring them over to the oven in a more convenient way. Tomorrow is the kids' last day of school, except for Harley. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. I'm gonna go get water balloons because I forgot to order them. I gotta get the ice cream. We always have like ice cream Sundays on the last day of school. We're also, it happens to be a Wednesday. So we have around the world night. And my friend, we're doing Belgium. And my friend who's from Belgium, grew up there, is coming over to help. So that's exciting. It'll be like truly authentic. like no recipe for this either it was just we saw a picture of it I feel 
like the cheese ratio on these is not enough. What did I say? Six more. All of them. Okay. I'm getting 18 mini pizzas. I'm going to leave a couple of pizzas separate. guys told me not to spray it, so I saw that. I won't spray it. This is the all-clad cookware. I gotta post Josh's vlog of him unboxing it. I'm gonna cook three pounds and freeze three pounds. I like to have some ground beef in the freezer for like, you know, random extra. These things, by the way, are the best for ground meats. Oh, it's too hot. These all clad pans get hotter than my Pioneer Woman one. So I'm gonna put the heat a little bit lower. All right, so what do I do now that I mess this pan up and burns the bottom like that? Probably some sort of soap, right? Like vinegar or something. I feel like vinegar. Vinegar cures everything. Have a stain, vinegar. Something smells, vinegar. Rust, vinegar. Okay. Well, good thing I'm making extra because Deshaun just called to tell me two of his friends are coming over. See, that is why I make extra. I never know. I'd rather have leftovers than tell someone they can't come eat over. Okay, the pizzas are done, the meat's done, all at the same time. Let's figure this out. <laughs>
18. Okay. I'm going to let those cool for a minute because I can't possibly pick them up right now and turn them into taco shells. And then we will, uh, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Figure out. Oh, wait. I've got to put taco seasoning in the meat. Oh, my gosh. Let me do that. packet of taco seasoning. Uh, I gotta get more. I swear I bought taco seasoning. I wonder if it's in the bag. Remember, I bought that black dress at Walmart. Didn't come home with me. I called the store. They didn't have it. I know it didn't come home with me and I know I bought it. And I bet I left a bag there and it had like the taco seasoning in it because I've been driving myself crazy because I'm like, I know I bought taco seasoning. Where the heck is it? I'm telling you, it's gotta be with that dress. Mystery solved. I just don't know why Walmart didn't have my bag. Like, unless somebody accidentally grabbed it thinking it was their bag, like one of the people after me, you know? Anyways, now I gotta go rebuy that dress. Because of course I threw out my receipt before I realized I didn't have the dress. I don't normally save my grocery receipts because it's like, hmm, what do I need it for? Once I put it in fetch, I just throw it out. Yes, I did change my clothes. I wore a dress this morning. It was like supposed to be 80 today and like it is 80, but it does not feel like 80. It's kind of chilly, not cold, but I was cold in that dress. So put on one of my eight pairs of my favorite jeans. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We take my giant muffin tins, turn them upside down, spray them, and like use those to hold the pizzas into the taco shape. I, I don't know, let's go get them. I'm gonna turn the oven down to 350 because we really are just melting the cheese on top. All right, the moment of true.
fun does this look? Looks disgusting. Yeah. Oh, you wanted milk, didn't you? and I forgot to spray it. I'm gonna actually take them out and spray it. I'm gonna get more, okay? Why are these always so hard to open? Because I mean, so frozen. They're so frozen. her handle and she like acts like she's a short order cook for her kids it's hilarious today. I have days like that. I'm just like not hungry all day and then hungry. ADHD. When your medicine wears off. taco meat in these and then top them with mozzarella and pepperoni. Why do I feel like this is going to be delicious for like the adults and teenagers and the kids are going to be like, no. Still working on where we're gonna eat. I picked the Luxor Buffet. And okay, I've been trying to like book things in Vegas. We're going in a couple weeks, our family of 14. So it's like, it's a task. Anytime we go away anywhere, it's like a whole process. It's like a full-time gig just to prepare. And in Las Vegas, I can't get a hold of anyone. No, because I can't book things online because the max like reservation at places is 10 and I need 14. And then I call the phone numbers and nobody answers and there's like no voicemail and I'll email and nobody answers the emails. But anyways, the Luxor Buffet answered the email and so I do have a reservation there. So I was really excited about that. I'm making a mess. Am I gonna have enough meat? 
I can always take meat from other ones. So I'm just going to put it in a bowl. Rinse it right away. Now, I don't know why I'm wiping up the counter. I'm just going to make a mess of cheese in a minute. doing a handful of cheese. I sprayed the pans. I'll just put like two on each one. It's more of like a garnish. Pepperoni as a garnish. I'm still trying to figure out where to eat on our anniversary which I'm really excited because restaurants are open there, uh, there in Las Vegas on the 4th of July. Here in New York, everything's closed for the 4th of July. Like Josh and I never get to go eat out at dinner on our anniversary or very rarely. So we'll actually like get to go out with our 12 kids. They're just along for the ride. Josh is like, we're vlogging like us, right? And I'm like, oh yeah. He's like, okay, good. He's like, these kids aren't part of this. They just got a free trip. <laughs> I'm like, I know, this is our trip. So 
And then we will, I wasn't sure, but we can videotape the vow, re, vow, re, vow renewal. I can't say that. Okay, let's just accept I can't say that. Um, they videotape it for us and then we get the copy of the video. All right, very carefully put these back in. Just leave them like that, or do I transfer them to a platter? I don't know, I'm gonna let them cool off for a minute. Anyway, something I just said made me think of a question uh, in a comment recently. Someone, because I said the kids are going on a free vacation. I didn't mean the vacation is free for us, I meant free for them. Um, but somebody asked if our trips are sponsored that we take, and no, they are not. One of our very, very first social media trips that we took was sponsored, which means like I'm not making money, but you're given free something, free product, free hotel stay, free whatever. Okay. It's like a perk sponsored. Um, and you have to do like a lot of work when you're sponsored, but you're, I mean, you're getting a lot in return. So like it's, worth it but like a lot of videos a lot of mentions and that we never got reimbursed and after that I was like I did all that work and didn't get reimbursed I did all that work on vacation for free so after that I was like it's not really worth it for me um just because it's a gamble. Like, unfortunately, in the social media world, like, I'm very lucky, very blessed. I have some amazing brand deals, but I can't tell you how many times creators have done work and not been paid. Like, companies just, they find some reason, some loophole, and they don't pay. After the creator's already done the work, it has happened to pretty much every single creator I've ever talked to. Anyways, no, our trip is not sponsored. No part of it's sponsored. It's just a vacation because Josh and I, uh, side story that has nothing to do with meat lovers, pizza tacos. When we first got married 20 years ago, we were like 50, 50, should we go to Vegas and get married there? And like our close friends and family would come or should we stay here and do like a big wedding where like all of our friends and family come. And we were like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And we almost did Vegas, but at the end we picked like the big wedding because at that point we were the first of anybody, of any of our friends or any of our family to get married, um, like our age family. So we did the big traditional wedding and like a part of us for 20 years has always been like, I wonder what it would have been like if we did Vegas instead, you know? So, 20th, let's go do it. Let's do a redo.
All right. Um, I think, I think I'll put these on a platter because these are disgusting looking. I've also got salad, I've got Tostitos, and I grabbed one of the six pound cans of mandarin oranges. Remind me to show you how many is left after dinner. That always amazes me. They're like gone. jinxed myself. Just kind of lean them. That's what we'll do. Alright. I will disclaim it is a very messy meal to make. Is it worth it? I don't know yet, but I think it's gonna be. I mean, who doesn't love ooey gooey cheesy goodness? I bring a platter over here because these ones are really greasy on the stove. these are healthy for you too. <laughs> All right. Stay. brought home more school stuff at the end of the school year. They bring home like every belonging from the entire school year all over my dining room table every day. I'm like, how do you have more stuff to bring home? You just brought it all home.
I love these giant cans from Walmart. Dockerty size side dish. They got corn, green beans. I don't like the tuna though. Mm -mm. That one's not good. Industrial size tuna. open jars of salsa. product i'll let you know how they taste Abomination. it's pizza tacos the pizza is the taco shell is there a cheese already yep what do you think can i have cheese Your please Bowie's not sure right can i have now. cheese please yeah just pick the pepperonis up there's oh, also salad and are those the only oranges. pepperonis on it just the top I'm gonna yeah that's bowl. it yeah well there's a couple with on <laughs> Are there any more meats in it? You're trying it, Budster? Hey, Mom. Hey, man. Hey, yeah. Mm. Hey, nice. Mom. Hey, Mom. Where's yeah. the magic child? Uh, check the fridge. Or there's those little cups out in the garage. Can I try one? There you go. I was afraid I wanted to try it. Oh, this looks good, though. We didn't hear you the first time. Oh, so hey. sorry. What's next? Maybe. Pinky and like like Jason. Jason. Oh, um, the Thousand Islands. Okay, not a fan. I'm glad you tried it. That was good job trying it. Good. Dash likes it. Bodie likes it. Jason's trying it. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna try it again? You gonna try it again? I'm gonna try it. I like it. Go, Mom, go. I like it. Hmm. It's interesting. I like it. I like it. It's salt. It's different. It's very salty. Okay, Josh is at a meeting, and Alex is at football camp, so they still have to eat, but I just got the kids to bed. I got to wash the dishes and put everything away. Thank you for making Meat Lovers Pizza Tacos with me. That was um, interesting. Almost everybody loved them, not Harley. A couple of the kids even had two of them. There's still some left, but Josh and Alex still have to eat. But thank you for spending time with me. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. I'll see you next time.